Welcome in the second episode. In today's episode we will create our project, import all of the game asset and create the main menu scene. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider to do so, hit the subscribe button down below and turn on notification so you will not miss any future content. Also, if you want to support me, you can do so through the Patreon. Go on to the patreon.com slash studio. You can find the link in the description below this video. Okay, let's go back to our project. So as you see on the screen, currently I have created just empty 2D Unity project. Before we go any further with this uh, setting of this project, let's uh, first of all download the game asset. So the link to download the game asset is in the comments below this video. You can go directly to my website. Once you will be here, just go to the download section and right below you will find the power matching tutorial graphics. So hit this download. You have to go through the terms, terms and conditions. Hit accept, leave your name and leave your email address. So the link will be directly sent onto your email address. So once you download this, the, the game asset, you should have the similar package as I have. So the power matching game asset, zip file. So we just could take the zip file. So I'll just cut it and go to the, your, uh, to your uh, project directory, go to the asset folder and then paste it here. So now let's uh, unzip it. So right click on this package, extract all and then extract. Okay, you should have the power matching game asset. So I will just delete the zip file now because we don't need it. And then go to the power matching game asset again and then take all of the files from here. I will just cut it. Go to your asset folder directly in the asset and then paste it here. Okay, and now we can delete this power matching game asset. So in your asset folder, you should have the graphics, scenes, sounds and the license. Okay, so now let's go back to the Unity and Unity should start to import all of the asset. So once it's, once it's done, you will see the graphics folder where you have all of the graphics for this game and then sounds where you can find the sounds. Okay, now let's go back to our asset folder and let's create some other folder. So I will right, right click in it create folder and then I will call it scripts okay here is here where we're gonna put all of the all of the game scripts so now let's switch to to the Android platform so to do so go to the file build settings and then select the Android and then create click this switch platform button Okay, all of the assets should be re-imported. Once it's done, you will see, you can close this window and you will see our game camera, the view has changed. So make sure you just select the 16 by nine portrait mode from the, from the drop-down list. So now let's add some, some scenes. So go to the scenes folder and I will just right click create scene and I will call this scene main menu. Okay. Now let's uh, double click on this main menu and make sure you are in the main menu scene. Now you can select the sample scene, right click and then delete. Okay, so we are in the main menu scene. We can go ahead, file and then save project. So we saved everything. So let's add some background to our game. So I will just create, just right click in our hierarchy, then UI image and I will name this image background. Okay, then I will go to the graphics folder, then game UI graphics and find this background one texture. Select the background object and then drag and drop this texture onto the source image. So we see we have our background, but the size is not correct. So the size for the background, I will set the width to be 480 and the height to be 850. Okay, so now if you select the maximize on play and if you pray, pl press the play button you will see our our background is not really uh, of the size of the of the camera so if you want to fix it 
Uh, first of all, we need to change some settings for the main camera. So I will just set the main, uh, select the main camera and then make sure the projection is set to orthographics. I will change the size to be 960. I will set the near plan to be 20 and I will set the far plan to be 100. Okay, now let's select the canvas and in the canvas let's change the render mode to be screen space camera and then we need to assign the camera the rendering camera so I will just drag and drop the main camera onto this field and then in the canvas scala uh, from the from this list I will select the scale with screen size I will set the reference resolution to be 480 by 854 and then I will just change this match to be 0 0.5 okay so now when we press play you will see our background is matching exactly the size of the of the camera so this is what we wanted and I think the background looks good okay let's save everything and now let's add some buttons so I will just right click on the canvas then UI button and I will name this button play button I will just go to the gra game UI graphics and then find the play texture drag and drop this texture onto the source image and then I will change the size for this button to be width to be 300 and then height to be 80 okay as you see we have some text displayed we don't need this text so I will just go here select this text and press delete key so I just delete this text okay let's do the same for the for the exit button so I will just right click on the play button then duplicate and I will change the name to exit button okay and then let's find the exit texture so I'll have this texture here and then drag and drop it onto the source image and then let's position change the Y position and move it down I think over here will be fine let's now add another button so I will just right click on the canvas UI button and I will name this button to be leaderboard leaderboard button okay let's remove the text delete and then let's apply the correct texture so the texture for the leaderboard is this score button so I will just drag this texture and then drop it onto the source image I will change the width to be 100 and the height to be 100 and I will just move this button up and to the left I think over here will be fine so now let's duplicate this leaderboard button and just rename it to be settings button okay let's apply the correct texture so the texture for the settings is the settings button texture drag and drop it into the source image and then I will change the X position and move it on the other side of the screen okay so this is how is how the, our main menu looks and uh, all of the UI elements are in so let's go ahead and click file save so now we need to let's actually test if everything is positioned right seems like it's okay so now we need to add some behavior to our play button to load different dif different scene so I will go to the scene folder and then right click create scene and I will name this scene set game and then I will go to our scripts folder and then right click create C sharp script and I'll name the script the button behavior okay let's open the script in the in the visual studio so inside the script we will not need any update on or the start method so just go ahead and delete it and then right at the top I will add another using statement so using unity engine dot scene management okay 
make sure you add the statement in and then I will add the public method so public void load scene and we need to pass the scene name so string scene name okay and inside this function we will call the scene manager dot load scene and we need to pass our scene name okay now let's go ahead and save everything let's go back to unity and now let's select our main camera then drag and drop the button behavior script onto the main camera and then go to select the play button go on to the on click event and click this small plus drag and drop the main camera onto the runtime object and then from the functions list I will select the button behavior load scene okay and now we want to load scene we want to load the correct scene so this is the scene which we just created which is the set game so just put the name the same name as your scene into this box set game okay so if you try the run game now when you press the play button you will see the error so scene set game could not be loaded okay this is because we need to add those two scenes into the build so let's select uh, let's go to our file and then build settings and then scene in builds as you see we have the scene which we deleted so i'll just select this scene and press delete and then i'll just drag the main menu onto this box and then I'll, i will do the same for the set game so make sure you have those two scenes in the scene in build and now you can close this window and now when we run the game we have our our set game scene loaded okay so that's it for this episode in the next episode we will start to implement our set game scene and uh, in this scene we will be able to select how many pairs we we want to play and what the category so thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next episode